Honestly, sleep is very important. Sleep is without good sleep, you can't remember information, and cramming doesn't really work. That's <laughs> the big thing that you need to take care of yourself. Yeah. Eat well, sleep well. G'day and welcome to the Choosing Your Uni podcast. I'm your host, Rob Maliki, coming today from Garrigal Land in Sydney. And today's episode is a little bit different. It's a micro episode because it's that time of year, end of high school exams are upon us. Nobody's got the time to be going through and listening to a mega long podcast. You probably don't want to anyway at this point. You just want to be focused on what's coming your way. And so what I thought I'd share is just a couple of minutes of the best advice that I've heard from university students over the years. I've literally spoken to thousands of university students over the years, and one of my favorite questions is, you know, what advice would you give to students who are going into those end of high school exams? So here in just a couple of minutes is a selection of some of that best advice. And I think if you're feeling a little bit under pressure right now, you feel like there's this tidal wave coming towards you, tsunami coming towards you, some of this advice I reckon you might find a little bit helpful. Good luck for what's coming up in the weeks ahead. Remember, there are lots of doors that are just about to open for you. This isn't about doors closing. And enjoy this micro episode of the Choosing Uni podcast. Try less because I went like full on hard, got a really high ATAR, but wasn't quite good enough to get into like a assured law or assured med and then only needed 75 or 80 to get in. And I felt like I had this big gap of I didn't really need to do that well. Don't stress <laughs> too much about it because in the end it probably doesn't mean as much as you think it does yeah nice honestly sleep is very important without good sleep you can't remember information and cramming doesn't really work that's (laughs) the big thing that you need to take care of yourself yeah. Eat well, sleep well. You get twelve exam. It's not the end of the world if they yeah. get badly. You know, like it's not really a big deal. If no you, one, no one really remembers what you got in year twelve except for you. Like, and there's usually always another way around to getting into a yeah. course that you want to get into. The stress is worth it. Is it? Because I, this is a complete, not completely stress free, but a lot less stressful than year eleven and twelve. Yeah, I'm under a lot less pressure here, and to just power through because it gets better. Stop focusing on girls. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of fish in the sea. That was my Achilles heel in high school. But on a more, on a more, say like focusing on boys is okay too, man. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you know, what, what, whatever way you want to swing it. But I'd probably say like definitely like getting like doing well in year twelve makes things easier. But it's not the be all and end all. And a lot of people in my uh, year twelve were very very stressed out on getting the right marks and getting into the right courses. But fast forward five ten years on, and everyone's happy and everyone's doing what they wanted to do anyways. Never leave things to the night before, <laughs> even though you always will. But it's not a great idea. I, I lost a few marks that I shouldn't have, and I could have got a better score. But yeah, in the end of the day, I'm doing what I want to do, and that's all that matters. I mean, you only know what you know. Exactly. You can only walk into something and be like, right, well, this is what I know. Yeah. If I don't know it. I just have to go out and learn it again. I was very pressured by my family to just come straight to yeah. uni. And um, because yeah. of that, I had um, I didn't have much money saved. I didn't really have a plan of what I was going to do when I got here. So I wish I just had that gap year to just take a bit of time to kind of save up some money, kind of get my head in the right place. Yeah. And yeah, come here with a good, solid plan. So Nice. Yeah, and also, like, just in terms of people, so I find that, like, because me especially, they get stressed when they don't fit the exact plan of finishing in three years. Mm. Like, it's okay to take four or five years. It's not the end of the world. Like, you're still going to get the degree and do what you want to do. And you'd rather take an extra year and get some of your work right as opposed to just barely skimming through and not really knowing it very well. It doesn't help you in the end run. Yeah, definitely. Uh, instead of, you know, putting the energy in worrying, but rather focus on getting the tasks done, especially assignments and get prepare for your exam at the same time know that you know like you do your best in getting accepted to what you want but if you didn't for whatever reason i mean it's the end of the world don't study things because you think you should study them study them because you want to Mm. like uni is a lot of fun and games but it's not easy as well so choose something you're passionate about study what what sticks out to you as something that you'd like to do for the rest of your life or for a decade of your life and yeah don't let others tell you what to do find your own project At Choosing Your Uni, our mission is to make finding your ideal institution and your degree fun, easy and stress-free. So if you're looking to save some time to discover more and to get personalised advice for every step of your journey, check out choosingyouruni.com. 
Our theme music is composed by Pasha Shogi and his band Flow, and this episode has been researched and constructed on Garrigal land in Sydney. Until next time, have yourself an awesome day.